Hey there guys, Chris here, your favorite digital marketing nerd. Raise the roof. Woo, woo. In today's video, I'm going to help you fix my Google business profile being suspended. And a lot of times people uh, get a hold of me freaking out. Chances are you got yourself an email that says, hey, uh, your Google My Business profile has been suspended. And if you go to search for it, it is missing. And this can be huge as far as like getting uh, traffic to your business. This is going to be a huge deal. So step number one, to fixing this issue is we're going to go to this page right here. And guys, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over how you should go about fixing this. Um, I could charge you amounts of money to fix this because a lot of agencies do this, but I'm just going to show you how to do this. But if it by any chance is too overwhelming for you to try to fix, then you can uh, consider hiring me. I will throw a link in the description to my agency website to set up a meeting. So first of all, uh, what I find here, guys, when people get their Google My Business profile suspended, it's it's one of two things. You either it's the ma and pa shop that doesn't know a lot about anything online, and they're like, oh, I don't know what happened, you know, or it, you know, it's just like pure randomness that it gets suspended, or two. It's a sneaky business tactic or business that's trying to like use multiple Google My Business profile listings and they're trying to kind of like game the system. So what, uh, but I'm going to get into this. Step number one for fixing uh, Google My Business profile being suspended is you got to fill this out. And this is just a, a small little quiz. They're going to ask you all these questions uh, just to make sure that you are the business owner. And this is known as the local business reinstatement request. Did you already submit a reinstatement request? No. Are you the official representative of the company, organization, or account? This one's very important. You need to click yes because this proves that you are the owner because uh, you're not going to get very far if Google doesn't think you're the owner because they deal with a lot of hackers trying to get into these uh, accounts. They overtake them. la di da -di. Uh, that's the story. So, And then what we do here is we fill out this entire quiz. It's a series of like eight or nine questions. But then what they're going to do here when you get when you're finished filling this out, uh, uh, by the way, I'll throw a, a link to the form to this in the description of the video as well. And then when you are finished filling this out, um, they're going to send you an email and you are going to they're going to ask you to go through the steps to fix your Google My Business Profile listing. And uh, what sucks here is Google is very vague about, you know, like they're not going to tell you you screwed this up. What they're going to do is give you tell you to go fix it. And that's where the cause, that's where these business owners are just like, we need your help. What do we do wrong? So first of all, I'm going to go through a couple of things that I see happen to some of my customers that reach out for help with their accounts being suspended. So first of all, if you have multiple locations, uh, this is, this is the biggest thing I see people get hit with. If you have multiple business, my, um, Google, my business profile listings, um, what happens is they screw up like naming them. Uh, the name of each listing has to be the same, which is the business name, right? It doesn't make any sense to have different business names. And a lot of people try to keyword stuff the business names. You know, like uh, if your plumbing company is named like Jack Berta's and you try to list it as like um, something plumbing to get more searches, that's against the rules. You need to name your business of what your technical LLC or business name technically is. If your keyword stuff in it, they're going to they're gonna suspend you real quick. 